Hey, it's Sean from P2R. Today I'm standing right next to a J35 Y2 engine that we're building here at P2R. The reason I'm next to this engine is because I wanted to talk about the cylinder heads on a J35 Y2 engine. The Y2 is probably one of my favorite J-series um, engines, and I've noticed that they make pretty good horsepower in stock trim in comparison to the rest of the other J-series. And I think there's a lot of reasons for that. Obviously, as the J-series continued to evolve as time went on, Honda has made things a little bit more and more efficient. And I think it's very apparent in this motor on how they developed a lot of that stuff. For example, on this engine, the camshaft for the intake doesn't have three lobes how you would with a traditional VTEC system or with the older VTEC systems. Instead, they've actually reshaped the rocker arm to go across to both valves for that cylinder and are able to come down to a two lobe intake. So what that does is it helps make the camshaft a little bit lighter and also just makes everything a little bit more simple. With the Y2 being one of my favorite uh, valve train systems, it was inevitable that that was probably one of the motors that I wanted to go ahead and work on a lot more. Um, so what we've been doing here for the last year or so, we've been developing a complete full valve train setup for these engines. So we already have like, you know, we do the CNC port work, as you know, we got the bronze guides that we have them all set up specifically for these heads. And um, you know, that's all working out really well. We um, had a lot of guys making really good horsepower with our cylinder heads uh, for these engines, but we want to take it another step further. You know, we've been able to increase flow quite a bit, uh, especially on the exhaust side. We've gained a lot of power there. Uh, we've got really nice uh, components that we developed for them. So we've done a lot of development, a lot of R&D, and a lot of time has been put into the Y2. We wanted to take it another step further and basically do a complete overhaul on these cylinder heads from start to finish. So with that, we're developing everything inside of the cylinder head. As you can see here, I like how Honda has these um, the bridge caps. We went ahead and we made billet bridge caps for these. We're using all titanium hardware. We're actually gonna be switching over to the aluminum rocker on the exhaust side. We're trying to reduce some weight where we can. For those of you who don't know where the J35Y2 comes from, that's actually the engine from a 2013 to a 2017 Honda Accord V6, six speed manual car only whereas the automatics came with a J35Y1. If you look here on this cylinder head, the Y1 and the Y2 actually use the exact same head. A lot of people don't know that, but it's the same head casting. So when we're building a set, we can use either a Y1 or a Y2 head, and we can essentially get to the same end result. As you see here, all these little pockets, these are the lost motion uh, spring pockets. The Y2 engine that we're speaking of here, or Y2 cylinder heads better yet, only is gonna use three of these. So we're gonna go ahead and install LMAs in only three of these pockets. Whereas with the Y1, it's gonna take a lot more of them. And that's why Honda, that's why like on these engines, you'll see a bunch of just blank spots, basically areas that aren't used. Okay, so here we got is our, our J35Y2 camshaft. Now I meant, remember I mentioned that we're only gonna have two intake lobes for our intake side. Basically you got your regular, this is where your cam typically rides on and when you switch over to VTEC you're going to switch over to the bigger intake lobe here this is your lost motion spring I can pull it out that's going to go ahead and fit into that LMA pocket this one and this one your two outer camshaft lobes that's going to be for your exhaust side which is down here that's why the, the factory rockers have kind of like a curved shape which brings it from the roller rocker here over to the valve tip so all of these pockets are going to stay empty on a J35 Y2 engine because there is no VTEC on the exhaust, so all of that is pretty much just empty blank spaces. We're also going to leave all of these blank as well. We're only using the right side. So here we got a sneak peek of our rocker assembly system. So this is pretty much how it looks in stock trim, except you'll have a spring here. And, um, well, this is the other side, but this is how the stock factory braces look. You can see here we got our P2R billet ones. So they come a little bit further down the line. We all, all this is our nice gold titanium hardware, which is really nice. Come down the line, you're gonna see we got the aluminum rockers on this. So now this aluminum rocker for this particular motor also requires us to make a brand new shafts as well, because the, where the oil in is, inside of these stock rockers, there is nothing. However, inside of the aluminum rocker, we gotta make sure that we're oiling the bottom of the rocker. Well, on the factory rods, they're using the oil on the top. So we have to basically make the shafts where the oil goes through the bottom and to go ahead and feed the aluminum rockers properly to keep those well lubricated while the engine is running. 
These rockers are lighter weight than these, even though they look a lot thicker. But being that the material is aluminum, it's quite a bit lighter than the steel one. Essentially, it's going to look something like this setup here when it's all said and done. One of the most complicated things about the J-Series is that Honda has so much variations in the J-Series. I mean, the J-Series has been out for so long, and over the years, Honda's always changing things, modifying how this works, modifying how that works. The most challenging task for us is basically picking which, which engine we want to put a lot of R&D, a lot of time into. I mean, we love to do it on all the J-Series, and that's, that's what we're doing. You know, our goal is to be the king of J-Series, if you want to say that. And it spreads us thin. Um, like, you know, within the same year, as I mentioned before, the Y1 and the Y2 have a completely different rocker assembly system and require totally different camshafts and everything. So, you know, I do a video like this where we're specifically talking about the Y2, and then a lot of the comments and questions would be, well, when are you going to do that for like a J3784? When are you going to do that for a J3584? Or when are you going to do that for the dual overhead cam heads or anything like that, for example? It's, it's tough in itself developing for so many variations. You know, it's one thing, for example, right now we're working on the J37A4 camshaft, a billet cam. And the reason we're doing that one is because that actually has an issue from factory. Those cam lobes tend to wear down, wear down pretty quickly and they get a lot of pitting. So what we're developing there is we're developing a billet camshaft that's going to be basically be what we call an OEM plus. It's like a stage one cam that's going to be 100% drop in ready without needing any aftermarket valve train or anything like that. No, it's not going to be the cam that's going to make you the most amount of horsepower, but it's going to be a solid replacement cam for that weak Honda cam that's in there. It's going to add more horsepower, and it's also going to add some reliability as well too, without you having to actually tear down your whole engine to install it. So that's just one thing that we're developing there as well. You know, we already have built camshafts, um, pretty much in development and out of development as well too, because we have the we have stage one billet drop-in cams for like the J32A2 engine, J35A4, J35A8, J32A3, uh, basically all those older engines. So now we're onto the stage of some of the newer engines. Um, in this case, I believe the first camshaft that's gonna release is the J37A4, but in the mix of that, we're doing the camshaft here for this J35Y2. I actually believe that the J35Y2 is gonna be the first drop on set of cylinder heads that we were able to release. Where basically you get a set of cylinder heads from us that's gonna come 100% ready to drop on. CNC ported, competition valve job, fully assembled, camshaft, rocker assembly, valve adjustment, everything done. That I'm really excited about. And that's something that we're trying to work towards here big time as well, is basically having drop on ready cylinder heads. Well, that's pretty much gonna wrap up today's video. I think we covered a little bit of some tech information and basically teaching you guys a little bit about the J35Y2 cylinder heads. We also spoke about um, products that we have in development, whether it's some of the new cams or some of the complete head packages that we're working on. I hope you guys learned something today. If you're a fan of the J-Series, I do hope that you enjoyed the video. I hope that you subscribe, hit the bell icon so we can continue to bring, bring you more content and we can continue to develop the J-Series together and make the J one of the most desirable engines on the planet. I'll see you guys again soon.